this is Nikitesh Khanke from Bajaj Reinforcement. Uh, uh, firstly, I like to uh, brief about my company, that is Bajaj Group. It has been founded uh, by Gunbi Sanji in 1961. We are a small-scale industry, uh, having a steel rolling activity has been done in our company, and also we have a, a vast portfolio of having different products in our uh, company been produced. Uh, that is doors and also the polypropylene fibers which we produce and the polypropylene fibers what we produced uh, are given a, a brand name called as fiber garden fiber tough this, these are the two categories where we uh, the fiber has been categorized and if we go, uh, take into the technicality of it uh, it's more into the micro synthetic fiber and the micro synthetic fiber what we call off so talking about the company, we, we produce micro-synthetic fiber and uh, micro-synthetic fiber with a brand name called as fiber, uh, Bajaj Fiber Tough and Fiber Guard. We are based at Nagpur, uh, incorporated in 1961, engaged in, engaged in manufacturing company. Uh, since its establishment in 2012, we introduced next generation microsynthetic structural fiber, which is very much uh, accepted uh, uh, all over uh, all over the projects of uh, railways and uh, tested in all the reputed uh, institutions like CRRI at Delhi, IIT Madras, IIT Hyderabad, and Mary Nasik. Also, I will be briefing about the applications area where we uh, our fiber has been uh, used. That is, uh, the applications area includes tunnels, metro rails. Uh, bridges, irrigation, roads, and many more. Talking about the core values, yes, definitely we, we more focus on the innovation part of uh, uh, innovation as a way of life. So this is uh, the product what we have uh, uh, in our portfolio is also an innovation. And uh, we it's now can be uh, said as not an innovation, but definitely we have proved our product. And now it has been accepted all over, uh, all over the country. These are the customers which we, we, we have in our portfolio, that is L&D, Afcon, HG Infra, Ashok Buildcon, Mega Engineering, Navyuga, Dilip Buildcon, ITTC, Hindustan, Construction Company, and Max Infra and Gayatri Project Limited. These are the companies where we are uh, working and we have proved our quality as also at the same time uh, we, we, we can consider these people as a happy customer with us. Now talking about the fiber reinforced concrete, uh, basically uh, what uh, I will be focusing on more on the uh, means the concrete part because this particular product uh, has it uh, USP as increasing the uh, quality and the property of the concrete. So when when a when a when a concrete is been reinforced with a fiber, that is that is that would be go, we called it as a fiber reinforced concrete. But at the same time, if I uh, consider into the classification or a category of fiber the fiber considers of many uh, many ki kind of fibers like steel fibers glass fibers natural fibers and synthetic fibers so basically um, adding this uh, uh, fibers into the concrete will help us uh, in uh, in resisting and improvement for the post cracking behavior of the concrete what we actually know and uh, for which is which is a very uh, means a challenge when when concrete comes into picture so this is what we are giving by we are giving a quality out of uh, uh, what through our product so uh, the plastic shrinkage crack and drying drying shrinkage crack which what we call that is also reduced uh, perm they, uh, it also reduces the permeability of the concrete. Greater abrasion has been developed and, uh, and shatter resistance in concrete. Impact more resistance to the impact load. Uh, why FRC? Because concrete have a, a, a property or a concrete is basically brittle in nature. By adding into the fiber into the uh, into the concrete, it gives a ductility kind of pro property to a concrete, which helps in uh, reducing the uh, means the cracks which has been developed because uh, the impact which has been developed has been resisted by the fiber and there is, uh, there is the tendency of getting cracked to the concrete uh, is reduced. So these are the mechanical properties what we have for our fibers. Uh, this is the compressive strength has been taken care of. Uh, and basically the presence of fiber may alter the failure mode of a cylinder, but the fiber effect will be minor on the improvement of compressive strength values. Modulus of elasticity has also been increased by, uh, by, by putting into the or coming fiber into the picture. Flexural strength is increased by 5 to 10%. Uh, tensile strength is increased. Uh, toughness is increased by t t 10 to 40 percent. Fatigue resistance is uh, fatigue resistance has also been improved, and impact resistance is de definitely improved uh, by addition of the uh, fibers. 
So this is what I was talking about when we talk about uh, the code part. Uh, this is basically the two categorization uh, that is macrofibers and microfibers. So uh, we, uh, we, we in the category of uh, macrofibers, we produce fiber tough. That is the brand name what we have given and fiber guard which is a fibrillated fiber. Uh, this is one of the product which we are the whole only one supplier in the country uh, and have an added advantage on it. Um, definitely we have a stall so you can also visit and have a feel of the product. It is a different and a, and a very unique product which will be helping in the crack resistance part. So this is what uh, the fiber guard is. Fiber guard is uh, basically a fibrillated, uh, fibrillated fiber and is most effective uh, for controlling plastic sinkage crack. Basically the USP for this is when it comes into contact of the water and the concrete, uh, it, it opens up like a mesh and uh, that mesh helps in developing uh, what you, that is uh, the strength and the bonding strength of the concrete is been increased and thus uh, the tendency of getting cracks is reduced. This is what the uh, specifications are uh, through which we confirm that is IRC I uh, 15 2017, IRC SP 46 and MOT also. This is the comparison and the requirement as per the uh, specifications as IRC 15 2017 says that effective diameter should be 88 to 300 microns. Um, same goes for the uh, goes for the IRC SP 462013. So it is it should be less than 200 microns and MOTS is 100 to uh, 10 to 100 and we produce uh, 46 micron uh, diameter. Same goes with the other specifications are definitely there. Uh, this is particularly a, a, a product which is uh, completely uh, al alkali free and uh, um, good resistance to the acid. So these are the advantages. Uh, this improves the resistance to plastic and drying shrinkage crack, uh, makes the concrete durable, uh, improves impact and abrasion resistance, uh, reduce segre segregations of mix, uh, water permeability is also reduced, cohesive mix is there and significantly improve the fire resistance part too. Uh, plastic shrinkage gas, as we know, the rate of evaporation, as it is, if it is increased more than the rate of bleed water, this uh, this create a, a plastic shrinkage uh, problem for us. But uh, that is also been overcome by uh, by adding onto the fibers. And definitely uh, the explosive spalling part, which is there, uh, it, it has been tested that uh, plain concrete and been added by the fibers. It has been uh, observed that the spalling part has been reduced compared to without getting uh, without the concrete being added with the fiber. So these are the technical benefits. Uh, it improves the durability and aggressive within aggressive environment by reducing permeability, reduces plastic shrinkage crack, definitely uh, reduces creep and spalling, and reduces hardened carton, uh, concrete cracks. So highly effective in controlling cracks in applications areas like uh, ground support slab, plasters, industrial flooring, basement, and other uh, rigid concrete pavement. These are the approvals what we have uh, for our product. Uh, from the, all the WRT departments. Also, uh, we have got an approval from the Delhi Metro Rail Corporations too. We are using in Nagpur Metro too, uh, also, and also the Pune, uh, Pune Metro packages. Uh, we are already using there, and we have gotten approvals in other metros too. This is uh, what exactly uh, means a picture of uh, uh, a road which has been like, after putting into uh, the concrete part, uh, there is no crack been developed. So this is one of our project. Uh, now talking about the, uh, this uh, the testing part, what we have done through various organizations like IIT Madras, LNT, uh, Nasik Mary, VNID Nagpur and Geotech Service. Uh, the grade of concrete what we have uh, tested in different uh, institution and found the result out of it. Uh, so the compressive, uh, uh, when, when you add into the fiber part, that, that helps into getting 58.9 as you can see in the numbers and without it is 58.1. So same, that is a, and some areas we have getting a very marginal difference out of it. So th that is already been tested and proved. So this is a, the another pro uh, product which has been uh, used uh, all over the pro projects of uh, RVNL uh, in Uttarakhand, uh, Uttarakhand for Rishikesh Kanprayag. This is the most dominant product and we are, into, we are very much dominant, the wholesale supplier there. And uh, uh, this is basically called as the fiber tough, uh, which is mostly used in the application of uh, uh, tunneling area. So uh, th that is for the short creating part. Mm, this is what uh, the properties what we have or we claim for. The base material for this is polypropylene. Specific gravity is 0 0.91. Uh, 
Diameter ranges from 0.8 to 0.9. Uh, length is as per the requirement of the customers. We provided a customized uh, length. Uh, tensile strength, we, uh, uh, it has been developed more than uh, 550 MPa. Young's modulus is also ranging between 9 to 11. Uh, melting point is above 163 as per the specifications and ignition point is also above 450. There is a continuous embossing over it which helps in developing a good bonding between the uh, fiber and the concrete and it is an alkali acid resistance. This is the applications what we do for the fiber tough part, uh, uh, more into the tunneling parts, marine structure, precast structure, short grid spray, uh, and also uh, blast walls, retention walls. Th these are the areas where we are being using our product. Uh, this is a, what uh, I would like to exhibit the re reports, what we have developed when in, in while, uh, while doing a compression test. Grade of concrete which has been uh, tested is M40. Expected performance in 28 days is expected to be 48 MPa. But after putting fiber guard dosage, we, the results coming out to be 74.06 MPa. It's a marginal, uh, completely a double side out of it. Also taking into consideration of the flexural test, what we have done, uh, expected is 3.83 MPa by just adding 0.91 kg per meter cube of uh, concrete. Uh, flexural test which is developed is 5.68 MPa. These are the completed projects, what we have done till now. Uh, there are pro projects which are under concrete roads. Uh, there are projects like uh, which are in canal lining. Also projects like uh, uh, Met Mumbai Metro, Pune Metro, and other expressway what we have executed. These are the customers what we are, uh, what we, uh, who are with us with the metro part. So Delhi Metro is there, LNT is there, Nagpur Metro is there. Uh, NCCL is working, AFCON is working, ITDC, Pune Metro and NCCL through Ultratech. These are the applications area where basically the product can be used and uh, we, uh, we, can, we can arrest the rest what, what, what is the challenge being developed in this area. Like U girders, wire duct, blastless track is a big scope out of it where uh, uh, more of the fiber guard and fiber tough both can be used. Uh, eye girder is definitely there and wearing coat. Uh, underground structure where the tunnels part is there, uh, we can definitely uh, focus, uh, these are the applications area the, uh, and metro station flooring is there where we can use this particular product and at the same time precast segment is there where uh, definitely it has been used, it helps in uh, uh, not having an explosive spalling too and tunneling lining, it is, it is always there for uh, a tunnel part. So the code, code references, this is what the code we follow and expect it to be followed and we are following it and uh, giving our result out of it. Thank you so much.